Student slashes four and kills one in university stabbing spree. Panic ensued at the University of Texas at Austin after a knife-wielding suspect attacked multiple students on Monday. The incident unfolded not long before 2 p.m. when a 21-year-old biology major began stabbing people with a large Bowie-style hunting knife. The suspect assaulted more victims as he walked along the busy area near the library dorms and gym. He had just stabbed a man when university police apprehended him. All four stabbing victims were male. One sadly died at the scene. Authorities have yet to charge the suspect and determine a motive for the stabbing spree. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. School campuses have unfortunately seen their fair share of violence. Stabbing spree at California University campus wounds five. A male student who wounded five people during a stabbing spree at the University of California Merced campus was fatally shot by campus police on Wednesday morning. A stabbing spree was reported on University of California Merced campus on Wednesday, which led to a lockdown at the school. The incident occurred in front of the classroom and office building where a male student stabbed and wounded five people. Campus police opened fire at the student, who later died of his injuries. Two of the five victims were airlifted to area hospitals while the others were treated locally. Hero Cop Kills Ohio State Stabber This is 18-year-old Abdul Razak Ali Artan, who was a student at Ohio State University, before he launched an attack that left police no choice but to gun him down. On Monday morning, Artan was reportedly driving on campus grounds when he mounted the sidewalk and began mowing down pedestrians. It all went down in front of the Watts Hall on the university campus in Columbus, Ohio. When he got out of the vehicle, he started slashing and stabbing people with a butcher knife. Artan wounded 11 people during his attack, including one critically. According to reports, Artan was a Somalian Muslim refugee with U.S. resident status. He relocated to the States in 2014 with his family from Pakistan. Prior to his attack, Artan had reportedly posted a rant on Facebook, calling for the U.S. to stop interfering in Muslim countries. Disturbingly, his post included the line, If you want us Muslims to stop carrying out lone wolf attacks, then make peace. This is Ohio State Officer Alan Harujko. He was nearby when Artan started his attack. He confronted Artan and told him to drop the knife, to no avail. That's when Harujko unloaded three rounds into the knifeman, putting him down for good. Officials have so far made no connection between ISIS and Artan. However, Heavy.com reports that ISIS-linked social media channels are praising Artan and calling him brother. Parent goes on stabbing spree at elementary school in China, killing one teacher and at least three students. A 43-year-old man jumped to his death off the fifth floor of his daughter's primary school after going on a stabbing rampage that killed at least one teacher and three young children. Local reports say after his daughter wasn't allowed to re-enroll in school, a parent entered her Hubei primary school on Monday at some time past 10 a.m. and proceeded to the fifth floor classrooms. The New York Times reported that the man forced his way into a classroom where he used a fruit knife to stab students and the teacher, who later died of her injuries. The man also stabbed at least eight young students, three of whom also later died of their injuries. Reports say the man then jumped to his death from the fifth floor. This is not the first time a school in China has suffered a stabbing rampage. Reuters reports that another man also stabbed and injured eight students at a primary school in another Hubei city in May, while a stabbing incident at a village primary school in December of 2012 resulted in 23 injured children. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Masked man kills two in sword attack at Swedish school. A small town in Sweden has become the scene of the latest school tragedy after a man killed a student, a teacher, and wounded two other students before he was stopped by police. A masked man armed with a sword and other weapons went on a stabbing spree at a school in the industrial city of Trollhattan in western Sweden on Thursday. The attacker, dressed in a long dark coat and military helmet, entered a building on the school grounds around 10 a.m. Some students at first mistook the strangely dressed threat for a Halloween prank, with some even approaching the man for a photograph, one pupil told news agency TT. The photograph, which spread rapidly on social media, is reported to show two female students. After the picture was taken, a teacher came out of a classroom and told the man to leave. The attacker nodded and then stabbed the teacher. 
The man then continued through the building, attacking another three people, including a 17-year-old student and a 20-year-old teaching assistant who have both died. Police then arrived and confronted the man, firing two shots, one of which wounded him badly. The attacker was dead at 4 p.m., having succumbed to his injuries. At least two Swedish media outlets have identified Trollenhatten resident Anton Luden Petersen as the suspected killer. Police and the Swedish security service Sapo are digging into his social media profiles, which reveal he held extreme right-wing views.